So, you know, 2020 was a really tough year for all of us, but of course, the best thing to come out of that pandemic summer was Connor. I think a lot of people know the story of how they first met. Bridget was staying in the suburbs with Brian and Katie, and, uh, you know, you can imagine her surprise when Katie said, oh, my friend Anne and Denny are coming over, and wouldn't you know it, they're incredibly eligible younger brother <laughs> just happens to be in town too and uh, wouldn't it be fun if he came over to the backyard as well and Bridget was absolutely furious because she was just completely this completely sprung on her she had no chance to look cute or anything but as all of us know especially today Bridget looks beautiful no matter what and Connor was absolutely smitten so the rest is kind of history When I thought about this day, it occurred to me that life is composed of a series of inflection points, moments when a decision or a choice will point our lives in one direction or another. Robert Frost spoke of this when he said that two roads diverged in a wood, and I took the one less traveled, and that has made all the difference. But perhaps the biggest choice to make is what we celebrate here today. Who to marry? Now they say there is no secret solution to this question, uh, but I may have found one. I chose to marry a Notre Dame girl from Chicago. And so Connor, you now join myself in choosing a Notre Dame girl from Chicago to share your life with. You can see there is a rich, long and successful history in walking this path in the woods. And I promise you, it will make all the difference in your life. for bridesmaids from all the different walks of her life, it's really easy to see how much Bridget's friends all really, really love her. And that's just because Bridget is so easy to love. But Bridget, you will always be my best friend and my first friend, and we will always be a team together. I am so, so happy that you found just the perfect partner in Connor, and I'm just so, so grateful to be a witness to your love today and to the rest of your very joyful marriage together. Bridget and Connor, the church shares your joy and warmly welcomes you together with your families and friends. Connor and Bridget, my conviction is that there has been a light that has been shining in your hearts from the day that you were both born to your families. And then that time came when the two of you met and suddenly the light that has been shining in both of your hearts seemed to click, seemed to come together. Two lights now that seem to uh, be compatible and somehow that light would shine, would shine in a brighter way now because you brought your own life and love to your relationship. And eventually that, that light might become marriage and that you would want the light of Christ to shine in your heart and be the third person in your marriage. May God bless you both on this day. about each other. They had just had so much in common. They were just perfect compliments to each other. And you can really see every day how they compete, strive, inspire each other to be the best versions of themselves. It makes me incredibly proud to say that I am Connor's brother. And I can say he is someone that I truly admire for all he has accomplished and know that he will go on to do. So hopefully I've painted this picture for you of Connor. Driven, passionate, competitive. Descriptions of Connor, I could carve into a stone and know that it will describe him to the day he dies. 
And now, enter Bridget Lee. Despite being in the same class at Notre Dame, as you've heard, Connor and Bridget did not meet there. Instead, they were the handiwork of Anne and Katie. It was clear that Bridget was someone special to Connor. From the very beginning, I saw the chemistry and just how deeply Connor cared for Bridget. But there was a clue that tipped me off that Bridget might be a little more special than I even thought. It was an early date that Connor and Bridget were playing tennis with Anne and Katie. The only thing Connor hates more than the Cubs is losing. So the next time I saw him, I asked him, who won the match? And Connor, as if it was no big deal, just like, we didn't keep score. <laughs> so if Connor was willing to accept a tie for Bridget, then I knew she must be the one. She is patient and loving. She's been the perfect balance to him. They are each other's biggest cheerleader and strongest supporter. They have a deep understanding for each other's passions and life goals. It is clear from the very beginning that Connor had found his lifelong teammate. So while I'm sure the answer to the question of what does he hate will continue to be the Cubs, I am also confident to say that whenever Connor asks the question, you know what I love, the answer will always be you, Bridget. Bridget is a very confident, very thoughtful young lady. She shares with my daughters and my daughters-in-law an independence, a thoughtfulness, a strength that is really admirable with women. And I'm so happy that Bridget shares that skill, that, that uh, trait. Connor, your mom and I are so very proud of you. This very exciting day in your life. We are so happy that you found this woman who we know you'll be spending the rest of your life with. Here's to Connor and Bridget and a lifetime of happiness and love. Hi, Connor. Take you, Bridget, and be my wife. Hi, Bridget. Take you, Connor, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and honor you. All the days of my life. 